What's good, YouTube? Man, it's your boy Young Dub coming at y'all with another video here. Uh, just doing another update on the channel, man. Um, last night I did do an unboxing video of the JP8 amp. Uh, very uh, nice looking amp. Hopefully it performs as good as it looks. Um, I can only say, as uh, Big D Wiz said as well on uh, 12 Volt Talk the other night, pictures, videos, whichever way you want to look at it. HD camera, you could have 8K, whatever the hell you got. It's not doing that amp any justice as far as uh, the color of the amp and uh, how amazing that thing looks, man. So if you haven't checked that video out, uh, it should be the one right prior to this one, the JP8. Uh, take a look at that. Uh, but for me, as far as moving along for my uh, 2021 build, uh, if you've been on the channel for a minute, y'all know I've been saying, hey, 2021 is going to be about budget. This is going to, well, I'm not going to say this is going to be my first time doing a budget system, but uh, first time in the last couple of years. Uh, lately, uh, especially last year, like I said, if you've been around the channel, you know I went crazy. Uh, at least my version of crazy as far as having two 18s. Um, uh, Wolfram 7500, even though now uh, they brand it as a Wolfram 9K. Um, big crazy power, a lot of stupid bass, man, but... Um, I don't know, man. My theory, as far as bass, uh, especially around like neighborhood areas and things like that, um, you always hear, hey, man, uh, you know, if you're trying to get big bass, you got to go a minimum of 212s. Uh, if you're trying to get big bass, uh, go 412s, 215s, 218s, uh, things like that, man. So um, every time somebody asks me, hey, man, what the hell you got in there? I always say, hey, man, I got two tens. Uh, so, um, to break that theory, at least around my area, to break that theory and also, uh, to be completely honest when I say that, uh, that is the reason for this video here. Uh, Y'all know how I do, man, always uh, open the box just to make it easier for the video. So, uh, let me get this joker open and y'all see what I got here. Uh, like I said, more than likely it'll, it'll be in the title, but uh, y'all know how I like to do, uh, try to put some type of suspense on it. So, uh, let me get this joker open. And I'll say this, uh, I did buy this on eBay uh, from a company down in Lincoln, Nebraska called Price Right Sales. Uh, this thing was packed to kingdom come, uh, so I did have to do a whole heck of a lot of cutting to get this thing open. And hopefully y'all can see that. So we got the shipping box here, uh, the box that it came in, and then another box in there. And that's taped up too. So let me get this. Oh, hopefully that's the last box. Box inside of box inside of a box. Yeah, this is, this is not gonna be fun. Put my razor up a little too early. All right. And that might be the first paper cut of 2021, man. This cardboard box, man, if you're not too careful, this stuff will get in you, man. So, boom. Uh, let me see if I get that on camera. We got the American Base vinyl sticker that just went down in the box. <laughs> so I'm not grabbing that until I get this joker up out of this box, man. Woo, she tiny in there. Yeah, y'all can see that. All right, so we got cardboard all over the place to protect us around. Let me get her up out of here. probably should have flipped this box over let me do it that way well you know what matter of fact I'm gonna just pull it out off the camera here because she might be tiny but she's packed to capacity man all right just a second there's one box All right, well, hopefully most of that still came on the camera here. I mean, this box is on top of boxes on top of boxes. All right, let me get that off the way. Get all that butt in there. Don't want to let the jeans don't want to come off. Over 
All right, so after all of that hail, there she is, a little American base, XFL 10 inch sub. So like I stated, American base vinyl sticker, cool on that. That'll definitely go on the windows there. And then your warranty card. A lot of people always saying, hey, uh, let me see the specs. Uh, I really don't focus on this stuff too much, y'all, because you can see it on the internet if you're really interested in the sub and stuff like that. Now that JP8, uh, since that's new, definitely will put that up there, but there you go as far as your paperwork stuff like that. So throwing that over there, but let's get this big girl out of the plastic. Well, I don't know, a little bit girl, I don't know which way you wanna look at it. All right, so boom. There is my American base, XFL 10 and sub. Uh, this is my first time, um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, it's my first time. Uh, it's my first time ever owning anything from American Bass. Um, massive audio, let's see, massive audio, sound cube and American Bass, they all look the same. Um, pretty much cookie cutter stuff, man. So, uh, but the XFL, I mean, American Bass supposedly makes minor changes uh, to their equipment, so yeah that little joker is as stiff as she want to be man so that is too cool man so yes uh there it is 2021 uh your man is going uber small um i did think about running some eights uh thought about uh mr sundown six and a half uh thought about running maybe like four five six seven eight nine ten maybe of those uh little sundown six and a halves um uh, some Scar 8, uh, I think EM Audio uh, on Facebook. I think I was looking at some of their 8s, uh, stuff like that, man. So, but uh, obviously, long story short, I came to American Base. Um, I, as far as I've known uh, personally, um, systems that I've seen with XFLs in them, they've, they've gotten down. Uh, so, obviously, I'll be running two of these, if not more. Uh, but that is the plan right now. Uh, Guess I should throw on her side so y'all can see those tensile leads in there. So we got dual tensile leads on each uh, speaker lead. Uh, I, they got direct leads. That's them. I'm not too crazy about that. I actually like to know. Um, I don't know for sure if this is OFC or not. I like to know for sure when I'm running, man. But it is what it is. Like I said, I know people that run these. Uh, they don't have any issues with them and stuff like that. So uh, we'll go from there. Um, I don't know. Hopefully y'all can see that voice coil in there, man. We got the black anodized voice coil. Uh, so that's what's up. And I was trying to flip her over for that right there. 1500 watts RMS on a uh, 10 inch sub for all that butt that I was trying to get out of that uh, packaging, man. Uh, yeah, so. I can't do anything. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be doing this, man, because I'm, I'm actually back to the point now where I'm smiling. So uh, happy to be back on it, man. So uh, let's get it rolling, man. I just, I did my research. Uh, I know for sure that she has, uh, uh, at least as far as uh, website quotes, a four-layer, three-inch voice coil, 200-ounce uh, magnet. Uh, obviously, the 1500 watts RMS knew for sure about that. And it has a uh, FS of 38 hertz, uh, X max of 17 millimeters, man. So um, that's like I, I've said in previous videos, I actually enjoy doing the research on the product uh, more than I like buying the product and demoing the product, man. So I'm like, she got double stack magnets. I, I believe they said that on there. Let me get this. Yep. Hopefully, y'all can see that down here. Double stack magnet on her, man. So. Uh, like I said, if y'all look to do anything more as far as researching the sub or anything like that, uh, make sure y'all hop on the website. Uh, y'all can take a look at everything they got available on there. Um, like I said, I personally bought this uh, from Price Right Sales via eBay uh, out of Lincoln, Nebraska. So, boom. 10 inch sub, man. So, this year when somebody comes up and says, hey, man, what the hell you got back there? Oh, just a couple of 10s. 
I'm not gonna be lying. <laughs> That's actually what I'm gonna have back there, man. And while we're doing this, let me move this big girl out the way. And push that back in the middle, man. So, um, yeah, that amp is upside down. And the reason why that amp is upside down because that's the most sexy part about it. I don't know if somebody might want to team this up with that sub, maybe so. You see all your settings over there. I, I might do a, um, a more in-depth video of the JP-8, uh, even though I'm pretty sure Big D Wiz is dropping that video tomorrow, I'm assuming. Um, and listen to them, they said it was more of an aqua blue. I said like winter green, uh, cool blue, something like that. It's like, a, I don't know, man, it's, it's amazing. So uh, make sure y'all stay tuned for Big D Wiz. Uh, when he does his review on the amp and uh, <laughs> I hope you don't mind me throwing that in there man we'll wait for that big dummy to drop the video man so uh, y'all know the deal man 2021 bill we're up and rolling uh, JP8 is in here don't know what I'm gonna do with that I literally just bought that because I wanted to see what it looks like in person this definitely is uh, going this year man so uh, y'all know the deal man any questions comments concerns hit me up I try to get back to everybody and we know for sure, if your mirrors ain't shaking, damn it, you got taken, man. I'm out of here, man. Y'all have a good one.